Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to adjust your payroll liabilities. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And in this video, I want to walk through how to adjust your payroll liabilities. Okay, so sometimes this can come up when you run payroll through QuickBooks and for whatever reason, there is a payroll liability, meaning this is an amount that you owe to the government that you have either withheld from an employee's paycheck or that the company is responsible for, okay? So I'm not gonna go through you know, all the calculations and payroll and how you come up with different amounts because it can vary by state uh, and then you have the federal amounts, but sometimes this can get out of whack. You know, It could be a, uh, maybe you have an unemployment rate at a state level that changes and you don't change it in QuickBooks uh, or something along those lines, or maybe you, know, uh, you just recorded too much or too little in, in expense uh, for the company. So I'm gonna walk you through how to adjust that payroll liability so that you can pay the correct amounts through QuickBooks. All right, so the first thing we're, we're gonna do here, we're gonna go to the payroll center uh, for, uh, to show our payroll liabilities and expenses and we're on, you've got the three tabs here. You've got pay employees, which is where you're gonna run your payroll. Uh, and then we've got pay liabilities. Okay, so you're gonna see your liabilities show up here in this screen. Uh, these are the payroll taxes coming up that you're gonna to have to pay, okay? And these are the due dates, all right? In this example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, this federal 940, for whatever reason, uh, was incorrectly calculated and we're, we don't need to pay $100, uh, but we need to pay a different amount. So what do we do in QuickBooks? All right, because if, if you go in here and you say, okay, pay this liability, if you say view and pay, and then you just change it on the check to say 50, because it needed to be 50, it's still gonna leave $50 in here showing as due. And you wanna clear that out. You don't want that to be in there, okay? So if you look down here, you've got an option that says adjust payroll liabilities. So what you're gonna do, we're gonna click on this and you have to first put in your date. So let's say that this is 1231, okay? Now the adjustment is for the company or the employee, all right? Now this is gonna be pretty crucial for you to figure out you know, which one is for which. And that's a little beyond the scope of this video because some payroll liabilities are just for the company and some are for the employee and uh, some can be for both, you know, depending on what they are. So for example, federal unemployment tax is just for the company, okay? So we are going to do an adjustment for the company, but of course, if it's for the employee, you would go over here to employee, and then you're gonna choose which employee this is, all right? But in this case, we're just gonna say company. All right, so you're gonna specify a class. In this case, this is gonna be overhead for this example. Uh, effective date, 1231, 2023. And then you have to choose the item. All right, which item is this affecting? Since we are adjusting the federal unemployment tax, you're gonna choose this. This is the payroll item. All right, so federal unemployment, and then the amount. If you want to make this a positive adjustment, meaning you need to increase that payroll liability, you put it in as a positive number. And if you want to reduce the payroll liability, you put it in as a negative number. So in this case, we're gonna say minus 50. And then you would type in a memo for, you know, uh, let's say miscalculated Buddha tax, okay. All right, so now we've got a button over here. You wanna take a look at this, accounts affected. Now in most situations, you want it to affect liability and expense accounts. So it says these amounts will affect the payroll liabilities report. In addition, do you want to affect liability and expense account balances? Typically, you're gonna leave it right here on default. It says affect liability and expense accounts, okay? There could be situations where you say do not affect accounts. Uh, but it's going to be rare. And so typically you're going to leave it as affect liability and expense accounts. So this means it's going to affect your chart of accounts. It's going to change the amounts due that are showing on your financial statements. Okay, we're going to say okay. And then we're going to click, click okay right here. All right. So now you'll see here that the payroll liabilities due are $50. Now, 
we can click on this and you're going to see all right the amounts withheld from people's pay hundred dollars greg schneider and we have an adjustment minus 50 so the total amount due is 50. all right so then you would go through your normal process of paying your liabilities all right and it brings up this check and uh you know you pay through the the eftps and you get your liabilities paid okay so if you have any questions whatsoever on making a payroll liability adjustment, I know there's lots of questions on, uh, you know, adjustments for employees pay and how you're going to walk through that process. Uh, you know, if you do have questions, uh, leave some general basic questions below as a comment to this video. Uh, otherwise, head over to the QuickBooks University where I walk through how to make employee adjustments, you know, walk through all the details uh, on how to make these adjustments and expense and liability adjustments in your financial statements and for employees, head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org.